Hi Leo, my name is Trudy, Trudy Healy here at Beacons of Angel Light, and this is your March 2019 angel reading. So uh, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Go check out your natal chart, it's free on Google, and that way you can cross watch and see what other uh, parts of your natal chart may be more active depending on what's going on in the cosmic dance with all of the planets. Speaking of which, we do have a new moon in Pisces, so a lot of emotional things may be surfacing. And um, I also wanted to let you know that I am going to be doing an extended version of this reading on YouTube. I'm not moving it on to any other program. So all you have to do is click the description box below. You'll see all you have to do is email me and pay a really measly $4.44, $4.44 uh, if you want an extended version of this reading, if it resonates with you. Also, if you want a private reading, a private exchange of energies, I'm available for that. And again, the details are in the description box below. Email me and I will email you back a link. Um, so... Also, I wanted to give credit where credit is due. I'm holding on to a selenite stick, selenite energy. I've got all the beautiful crystals and candles right there. Um, but we are using for this reading Doreen Virtue and Charles Virtue's uh, Indigo Angel Oracle cards. And we are also going to be clarifying with a card by Blue Angel Oracle Cards by Tony Carmine Salerno. Um, I call these my blue. My blue angel is definitely Archangel Michael. Um, so without further ado, Leo, what do you have for me for this March 2019? Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate your likes, shares, and subscribes, especially the subscribes. We're trying to reach a thousand subscribes this year, so let's do it. Support the channel, leave your comments, likes, subscribes, and share. So the two main energies that we have for you, Leo, we have look through the situation and patience. So look through the situation is encouraging you to look beyond the negative and really read between the lines. You're missing the point here. You're missing the point. There's something of so much value. You see these cards? These are yours. Uh, you're missing something of so much value because you're looking for like, you know, I don't know, the big cake to land from the sky. And what you're really doing here is sifting for gold. So when you're sifting for gold, you, you know, like you have to wash the mud off of it and stuff and clean it up and take a better look and see what you're looking at. And patience, my darling. My darling Leo Fireside. Lots of patience from a little lion. Now the obstacle here is the way that you're looking at yourself, the way that you regard yourself in the mirror, the way that you respect yourself. You don't like yourself very much. You're not very fond of yourself these days. There's something that you're looking at yourself negatively about, and the angels want you to let that go. Your self-reflection is the way that others also see you, and you don't want to be seen in that light. So don't look at yourself that way. Don't be so judgmental of yourself uh, because you wouldn't be so judgmental of others. Also, you do have this great authority. You speak with great authority. And uh, the angels are on your side. However, the way that you deliver the message can sometimes be without tact. And so the angels are asking you to use your words more wisely and perhaps choose the timing um, so that it's you know, with more tact. Again, they're using the word tact a lot here. Uh, more tasteful and less abrasive, less um, careless towards other people's emotions. So I'm trying to get, here we have, the advice here is shield yourself. Yes, absolutely. There are some negative vibrations around you that you do need to shield yourself from, and, and that's okay. Ask the angels for shielding and protection. Um, but there's also an essence here, because they were telling you about looking through the situation. 
You're missing the point. They're also telling you to have patience. And they're telling you again about patience in terms of divine timing. So, accept. Everything has a divine order. And if you want something to be long-lasting, things will have to be interlocking and holding hands and in agreement, even in the back scenes of whatever it is that's going on in your world. If you want it to be long-lasting and fruitful and lucrative and productive and harmonious and bring you a great deal of joy and love, okay, um, then you want to wait for that divine timing. Divine timing. All right, Leo. So let's move on to the Archangel Michael card. Let's see what do you have. What do you have? Sorry, I just want to keep my table mess free here as much as possible. Psh, psh, psh. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oromasis, purification fire. I was watching this the other day. I went to a remote island and I was wearing like just my swimsuit and it's Florida, you know, like in the morning you have to dress for winter, in the afternoon you have to dress for summer. Um, I want to say like the late afternoon you have to dress, dress for autumn and in the evening, you know, it's winter again. So it's like dress accordingly and somewhere in there I got caught in wearing a swimsuit and it started to get cold so I made a fire and then I was amazed with the way the fire consumes all and it turns it into ashes. I was especially amazed a log that we burned just took the most amazing shapes within the ambers. Um, so this is Oromasis, it's purification fire, the number is 45, 43, if that happens to resonate with you, but I'm using it for purposes here of looking it up in the book. Oromasis, where art thou, Oromasis? Okay, you want to take a better look at the picture? So, many unexpressed thoughts and emotions which have been stored over time remain locked inside you. These include past disappointments, fear and worry, feelings of inadequacy and guilt. Nothing serious, just remain, just remnants of life's experiences. It's time to release these emotions and to purify your thoughts. You do not need to analyze things and relive the past. Just acknowledge that you have a whole lot of baggage <laughs> and that you would like to clear it. So imagine that brilliant flame of light transforming and purifying your emotional and physical body. Feel yourself being cleansed and healed and free. feel the sense of freedom that comes as a result of this purification. Feel the peace, joy, and love. I pray for love to guide me to illuminate my heart and mind so that I may feel the sacred flame light of love within my soul. So, Leo, I hope that resonates with you and I do hope to see you on the extended. I love you. Love yourselves and love everybody around you. Mwah.